Your enemy is not someone who fuels your assignment. Your enemy is someone who stops your assignment. So some of the people fighting you, you don't need to fight back because they are helping you fulfill your assignment. So if you, if you are not aware, you might be angry with Judas and say Judas is a traitor. He's not a traitor. If there was no Judas, Jesus was not going to be sold. So Peter is an enemy. Why? He's trying to stop him from it. He says, you will not die. And the Lord says to him, get thee behind me. What? How did he know? He knew that this guy, what he's saying, number one, he has entered a different office. Because Satan is not a person. Satan is an office. But this well. Satan, Hakuna Muna knows Satan. Satan is an office. God did not create Satan. God created Lucifer. And Lucifer created the office of Satan. The same way I always tell people, God never created a policeman. God created a man, and the man created the office of a policeman. So when you, when you say I'm a police officer, God did not create a policeman. It is men who created that office. God never created Satan. Satan created the office of Lucifer. Lucifer created the office of Satan. Can you understand that? So Satan now is coming because he's an angelic being. So we are seeing the potential and the cap capacity of angels from Lucifer. He is Satan. He is moving David to number the people. Be careful who you listen to about advice. You can listen to someone who has been moved by Satan. That's why the church is not a democracy. Your opinion does not matter. The church is a theocracy. Theo meaning God. It is run by God. Some people come and say, the problem with that prophet, he does not listen to advice. I okay, how do you advise Moses on the Red Sea? You who likes to give pastors advice, let me rebuke you. Moses is standing by the Red Sea. They are about to cross. God says, move forward. You who likes to give advice, what would you advise Moses? Stop it. <laughs> so the problem is we have a lot of people who want to sit in that council, that chair of advice. If you're a man of God, let me advise you. Don't listen to people. Be a man led by the Spirit. Let the Spirit of God guide you. Some of the decisions that God will tell you to do, in human senses, it might not. How do you tell people we are marching forward when there's a red sea? Okay, go in, visit an ocean and see. Okay, visit a dam. Go to a dam. What about the sea? How do you tell people we are moving forward in front of a sea? And there's a guy 